सर्वांगीन सर्वस्पर्शी और सर्वसमावेशी इट कवर्स ऑल कास्ट एंड पीपल एट ऑल लेवल्स वी आर वर्किंग टू मेक इंडिया अ विकसित भारत बाय 2047 for achieving that goal we need to improve people's capability and empower them previously social justice was mostly a political slogan for our government social justice is an effective and necessary governance model the saturation the saturation approach of covering all eligible people is the true and comprehensive achievement of social justice this is secularism in action reduces corruption and prevents nepotism prevents bhai bhatijawad there is transparency and assurance that benefits are delivered to all eligible people the resources are distributed fairly all regardless of their social standing get access to opportunities we are addressing systemic inequalities that had plagued our society we focus on outcomes and not on outlays so that the social economic transformation is achieved as our prime minister firmly believes we need to focus on four major castes they are garib महिलाए युवा एंड अन्नदाता देयर नीड्स देयर एस्पिरेशन एंड देयर वेलफेयर आर आर हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी द कंट्री प्रोग्रेस वेन दे प्रोग्रेस ऑल फोर रिक्वायर एंड रिसीव गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट इन दे क्वेस्ट टू बेटर देयर लाइफ देयर एम्पावरमेंट एंड वेल बींग will drive the country forward garib kalyan desh ka kalyan we believe in empowering the poor the earlier approach of tackling poverty through entitlements had resulted in very modest outcomes when the poor became empowered partners in the development process government's power to assist them also increases manifold with the pursuit of sabka saath In these 10 years the government has assisted 25 crore people to get freedom from multidimensional poverty Our government's efforts are now getting synergized with energy and passion of such empowered people This is truly elevating them from poverty Direct benefit transfer of 34 lakh crore rupees from the government using pm jandan accounts has led to savings of 2.7 lakh crores of rupees for the government this savings has been realized through avoidance of leakages prevalent earlier the savings have helped in providing more funds for garib kalyan PM Swanidhi has provided credit assistance to 78 lakh street vendors from that total from that total of 78 lakh street vendors 2.3 lakh have received credit for the third time PM Janman Yojana reaches out to the particularly vulnerable tribal groups who have remained outside the realm of development so far pm vishwakarma yojana provides end to end support to artisans and crafts people engaged in 18 trades the schemes for empowerment of divyangs and transgender persons reflect firm resolve of our government to leave no one behind welfare of annadata farmers are our annadata every year under pm kisan samman yojana direct financial assistance is provided to 11.8 crore farmers including marginal 
and small farmers. Crop insurance is given to 4 crore farmers under PM Fasal Bhima Yojana. These, besides several other programs, are assisting Annadatta in producing food for the country and for the world. Electronic National Agricultural Market has integrated 1,361 mandis and is providing services to 1.8 crore farmers with trading volume of 3 lakh crores of rupees. The sector is poised for inclusive, balanced, higher growth and productivity. These are facilitated from farmer-centric policies, income support, coverage of risks through price and insurance support, promotion of technologies and innovations through startups. Empowering the Amr PD, the Yuva, our prosperity depends on adequately equipping and empowering the youth. The National Education Policy 2020 is ushering the transformational reforms. PM Schools for Rising India, PM Shri, are delivering quality teaching and nurturing holistic and well-rounded individuals. The Skill India mission has trained 1.4 crore youth, upskilled and reskilled 54 lakh youth, and established 3,000 new ITIs. A large number of institutions of higher learning, namely seven IITs, 16 triple ITs, 7 IAMs, 15 AIMS and 390 universities have been set up. PM Mudra Yojana has sanctioned 43 crore loans aggregating to 22.5 lakh crores of rupees for entrepreneurial aspirations of our youth. Besides that, Fund of Funds Startup India and Startup Credit Guarantee schemes are assisting our youth. They are also becoming Rosgar Data. The country is proud of our youth scaling new heights in sports. The highest ever medal tally in Asian Games and Asian Para Games in 2023 reflects a high confidence level. Chess prod prodigy and our number one ranked player Pragnananda put up a stiff fight against the reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen in 2023. Today, India has over 80 chess grandmasters compared to little over 20 in 2010. Momentum for Nari Shakti. The empowerment of women through entrepreneurship, ease of living and dignity for them has gained momentum in these 10 years. 30 crore mudra yojana loans have been given to women entrepreneurs. Female enrollment in higher education has gone up by 28% in 10 years. In STEM courses, girls and women constitute 43% of enrollment, one of the highest in the world. All these measures are getting reflected in the increasing participation of women in workforce. Making triple talaq illegal, reservation of one-third seats for women in the Lok Sabha, and state assemblies and giving over 70% houses under PM Awaz Yojana in rural areas to women and giving over 70% houses under PM Awaz Yojana in rural areas to women as sole or joint owners have enhanced their dignity. Exemplary track record of governance, development and performance. Besides delivering on high growth in terms of gross domestic product, 
the government is equally focused on a more comprehensive GDP, that is governance, development and performance. Our government has provided transparent, accountable, people-centric and prompt trust-based administration with citizen-first and minimum government, maximum governance approach. The impact of all-round development is discernible in all sectors. There is macroeconomic stability, including in the external sector. Investments are robust. The economy is doing well. People are living better and earning better with greater, even greater aspirations for future. Average real income of the people has increased by 50%. Inflation is moderate. People are getting empowered, equipped and enabled to pursue their aspirations. There is effective and timely delivery of programs and of large projects. Economic management. The multi-pronged economic management over the past 10 years has complemented people-centric, inclusive development. Following are some of the major elements. One, all forms of infrastructure, physical, digital, or social, are being built in record time. All, number two, all parts of the country are becoming active participants in economic growth. Number three, digital public infrastructure a new factor of production as it in the 21st century is instrumental in formalization of the economy. Number four, goods and services tax has enabled one nation, one market, one tax. Tax reforms have led to deepening and widening of tax base. Number five, strengthening of the financial sector has helped in making savings, credit and investments more efficient. Number six, GIFT, IFSC, and the Un Unified Regulatory Authority, IFSCA, are creating a robust gateway for global capital and financial services for the economy. Number seven, proactive inflation management has helped keep inflation within the policy band. Now the global context, Honorable Speaker, sir, Geopolitically, global affairs are becoming more complex and challenging with wars and conflicts. Globalization is being redefined with reshoring and French shoring, disruption and fragmentation of supply chains and competition for critical minerals and technologies. A new world order is emerging after the COVID pandemic. India assumed the G20 presidency during very difficult times for the world. The global economy was going through high inflation, high interest rates, low growth, very high public debt, low trade growth and climate changes. The pandemic has led to a crisis of food, fertilizer, fuel and finances for the world while India successfully navigated its way. The country showed the way forward and built consensus on solutions for those global problems. The recently announced India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor is a strategic and economic game changer for India and others.